things. Today I'm gonna to be talking about resources. Uh, resources that you really need are three primary types of resources. So you need books and references, some sort of iPhone app or a phone app, and then uh, also some websites that you can look at and get better, uh, a better handling on the Greek language. So number one, uh, books and references. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to need above everything else, of course, is your Greek New Testament Bible. Uh, this in particular is a UBS, Greek New Testament Reader's Edition with textual notes. I strongly recommend that you get the one with textual notes because uh, in it you're going to find that very thing. You're going to find textual notes that are going to help you understand more uh, efficiently what different words mean in their context of different passages. So that's going to be really, really helpful. In fact, um, as we go through, I'll give you a better understanding. So you have, you would have the, the words here, um, the scripture in Greek, and then just below that, these, you know, sort of these two sections here are, uh, are the Greek words and the Greek tenses, and, and it breaks it down and gives you the literal meaning of them and different things like that. It's really helpful. You really, you need this um, to get started on this uh, learning of the Greek language. The second thing uh, that you're going to need is uh, William D. Mounts' book called Basics of Biblical Greek Grammar. Basics of Biblical Greek Grammar. You need that. That's really, really helpful. In fact, we're going to be going through this book um, as our primary resource. And we're going to pull from other resources as well as we go along, but this is going to be a really, really helpful resource. Um, just about, I mean, so, so many seminaries uh, go through this book. And I'm trying to bring this, th these concepts with the help of Bill Mounts to you uh, right now. So uh, you need that. Also, Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible by James Strong. I, I cannot recommend this enough. It's such a, a basic thing, uh, but a Strong's Concordance is really helpful. Some see it as, oh, that's just too baseline for me. I need something a lot more comprehensive. Well, you'd be surprised how helpful either a physical copy or an electronic copy of the Strong's Concordance would be. It is a phenomenal resource. And, and if you wanna figure out where all the words are, where they, where they occur throughout the, the Bible, whether it's an English word or whether it's a Greek or a Hebrew word or whatever, um, it is really helpful. So you need that. So get a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Another thing, uh, just sort of uh, extra stuff that you might want, um, I have a couple different things here. I have a bunch back here, but one is um, by John Eady, and this is a commentary on the Greek text of Paul's letter to the, and you can have, I mean, he has all kinds of different books, but this one is to the Ephesians. Um, another one I have is uh, one to the Galatians, one to the Thessalonians, and so on and so forth. These are great, great resources. John Eady does a phenomenal job explaining the Greek language. Um, so if you want to um, use something like this, um, whether it's to try to get a better grasp on the Greek language, um, or whether it's just your, you know, you need a, an extra resource for preaching or something like that. I, I've used these for all kinds of reasons, for research papers, for uh, sermons, for all sorts of things. Um, they're really, really practical and helpful. Uh, another thing that we're gonna be needing as we go along, uh, uh, beyond the books and the references, uh, is an iPhone app. Several iPhone apps, actually. And the first one is the Basics of Biblical Greek. The Basics of Biblical Greek. And these are basically just electronic flashcards by Bill Mounts. He uh, has provided them that go along with the curriculum from the book, uh, Basics of Biblical Greek Grammar. It's a really, really good resource. I currently don't have it, but that's only because I have the physical copies of the cards already. So I don't really need the uh, electronic copy. It would be nice to have, but it's also $20. So um, you could get the $20 electronic copy, or you could get the uh, more expensive print version like I did, because I didn't know that the electronic version was out there until after I got them. So um, anyway, so that's really helpful as well. Uh, and then also you can get the Parse Greek app, P-A-R-S-E Greek, Parse Greek, and that's 10 bucks. Um, I have that on my phone and it gives you, it, it basically is a big giant thing of flashcards that gives you all kinds of uh, different tenses and it quizzes you and all those sorts of things. So it's really, really helpful, um, especially as you get more and more into the, the deeper concepts of the Greek language. Um, and then of course, Logos Bible, the, on your phone, uh, as far as I know, it's still free. 
You can download Logos, that's L-O-G-O-S, Logos Bible. Uh, just look at it on your uh, app store and you'll be able to find it. Uh, and just download that. It's got all kinds of, it's got a Greek New Testament in there. It's got all sorts of different resources that you can download. Uh, some for free, some that uh, cost a little bit of money. It's not a big deal, whatever. Whatever uh, floats your boat as far as that goes. Uh, another thing, eSword. I have eSword on my computer right now. It's a free resource uh, and I'll talk about where to go to get that in just a moment. But, but eSword is, is um, a really good uh, Bible study resource. And not only that, but uh, it has uh, breakdowns of the Greek language. Uh, it uses Strong's Concordance and Young's Literal Translation and a bunch of other different things. So it's really, really helpful. Also, uh, in addition to the books and references and the, the apps that you can get, you are, there are also a bunch of websites. And these are just, I only have four here, but there are tons and tons of websites that you can look into as far as this goes. But number, number one, is biblicaltraining.org backslash biblical Greek. Or you could just peruse biblicaltraining.org and, and find out there are all kinds of different, really, really neat articles and things that are really helpful for anyone, whether it's in seminary, you're in seminary or whether you're just in ministry of any kind. Um, or you just really have a, a fascination to learn more. You just have a hunger for learning. That's great. And if so, you are at the right place. Um, so also, another thing that I mentioned earlier, eSword. Uh, you can actually get eSword, you can download that directly from eSword.net. Um, so download that, it's free for your desktop, however it costs $2.99 for your phone. Uh, I don't know why exactly that is, but what, hey, that's, it is what it is. And then of course, blueletterbible.org, uh, biblehub.com, uh, these are just a few others uh, that you can also look into as well. So these are just a few resources that you can uh, look at and look into as we begin this process of learning the Greek language together. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.